So, namaste. I just finished my yoga. I'm all good and sweaty and now I'm going to wash up. And I'm going to show you the spray that I use as part of my washing up. Um, I use a little bit of Tea Tree Dr. Bronner's soap um, for the main areas of my body, but for like chest, back, arms, legs, I tend to use this washing up spray that doesn't require me to rinse because it's really difficult to try and rinse your back when you're washing up in a van and you don't want to use more water than you need to. And because this is a spray that I can cleanse myself with but not have to rinse off, it helps a lot when I'm washing up. So I figured that I would film that. It's not going to be a very long video because it's really only like three ingredients and they're really quick. So. Um, this is my spray bottle and I really need to get a slightly bigger spray bottle than this because I feel like I make this um, quite often because I do use it every day that I wash up so I feel like maybe I need to get a, a little bit bigger spray bottle but this one fits in a very small space so I think I'd like something um, thin and taller so at some point I'll go looking for spray bottles just we'll decide so it requires a spray bottle I use an essential oil. I use lavender oil for this. You could use whatever you wanted. Um, you could use tea tree. You could use peppermint. You could use eucalyptus. Whatever you want. I, for this, like lavender oil because I am washing my body up with it. Lavender oil is soothing. It smells really good. So um, it has other benefits as well. And I'll try and list them here if I remember. <laughs> um, or I'll put a link below with the benefits of lavender oil. I prefer lavender oil for this. I have used tea tree before, but I just don't like the, the smell of tea tree as a body refreshing type thing is not really that great. I don't mind tea tree smell, but other people might not. All right, so let's get the camera in the position so you can see what I'm doing and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so um, I do have a little bit left. It's about that much left in this bottle right now. So. And I just eyeball it. I don't measure. Um, so I'm going to use maybe about a little less than half of this. So I think I don't even want the squirt bottle top. I'm just going to pour it. So I usually use almost half and half of witch hazel to water. Almost. I tend to be a little heavier on the witch hazel than the water. So I don't want to dilute it down too much, but um, two parts witch hazel to one part water, maybe just a little bit less than that, because sometimes I do end up going back and putting a little more witch hazel in. I'd rather have more witch hazel because that's what's cleaning than the water. And then with the lavender oil, that's really just however I see fit. <laughs> um, and that was probably about like 10 drops right there because it came out pretty quickly. So that's, that's pretty much it. And you just shake it well. Shake it before each use. And uh, I'll show you on my arms how I use it. So you would take your clean washcloth and your spray and you basically just spray it on the washcloth. You know, you want it kind of damp. Um, you can even wet a washcloth with a little bit of water first. And basically you just rub it and you want to scrub, get all the dirt and sweat and stuff off of wherever body part you're using. And like, like I said, you don't have to rinse this off of your body. So I usually do um, both arms. And then I'll rinse the rag a little with a little bit of water. And then I'll do my chest area, you know, from here down. And then I rinse the rag again. And then I do my back, as much as my back as I can reach. And I do take the rag like this and go across my back like that, up and down where as far as I can get it. And since I don't have to rinse, I don't have to worry about that. So I rinse the rag off again. I'll do both legs and then I'm done. So I'm gonna start over because that was just a demonstration. I'm not gonna use that washcloth. I'll get a clean washcloth because I need to wash up now. 
And what I do is I wet this with water and I use a few drops of the tea tree on it and get a little bit of a lather. And then I wash my face, my ears, my neck. Then I rinse my washcloth, a couple more drops of tea tree, armpits, rinse my washcloth, then more tea tree soap, a couple drops, front privates and bottom, rinse my washcloth. Then I use my spray and I do my spray for my arms, my chest, my back, and I, you know, do like I showed you with the washcloth for my back, and then I do my legs. Then I, you know, rinse in between each. So once I do the two arms, I rinse. Then I do my chest, I rinse. When I do my back, I rinse. Then I do my two legs, I rinse again. Then I use, go back to the tea tree soap and, and do my feet last. Because it's so dusty out here and I wear flip flops a lot, I tend to have kind of dirty feet. So those are kind of last. And that's pretty much how I've been washing up lately. That's my current wash up situation. So it has been, it has changed over the years of living in a van. So um, I think this is the best. And I really like using this spray because I don't waste water for those extremities. And I and they feel, I mean, I smell good. I feel really, really good. It's so clean right now. And then I'll put on my sunblock if I have any or oil or lotion or whatever I'm wearing that day and put that on and I'm perfectly fine. So, and this is a good um, fabric refreshener too. I have sprayed this on the clothes that I've worn at the fire pit that just smell like smoke and it drives me crazy because they're in here with me. I've spritzed this on them and let them air out and they, um, and then when I bring them and put them in my dirty clothes, it doesn't smell because my dirty clothes is near my head. So I hate smelling that smoky clothing um, smell while I'm sleeping. So this helps a lot, even to refresh some of the soft surfaces in here. I've used it as a fabric freshener as well, like my, um, my blanket that I keep at the foot of the bed, even the carpet here, it's, it's multi-purpose. Yeah, well, it's time for me to get washed up. I'm all sweaty from yoga. I hope you enjoyed the yoga video and today's daily dose.